Ravens. Welcome to this week's edition of ONW Now. I'm Tessa Hunt. And I'm Jacob Guernsey. On today's show, we go behind the scenes of ONW Lip Dub, a recap of a talent show fundraiser for a student, and a look into Raven Athletics. Most people are not aware of just how much work goes into producing a Lip Dub. Ben Whitney gives us the details on this year's All School video. Many of us have seen the original ONW Lip Dub from 2011, which now carries a legacy within the school. This year, Ecom Entertainment students decided to bring back the idea to create another all school lip dub. This lip dub comes at a time when the entire Northwest community is undergoing many new changes. With the transition of half of our staff being brand new and a big kind of drop in all of our classes due to everyone going to West and like transferring and our seniors leaving, things like that, we thought, you know, this would be something really good to bring our school all the way together. The process to produce a video that encompasses around 2,000 students and staff is extremely complex and months of preparation and collaboration was necessary to ensure a successful production. We had to pitch it to administration because everything has to go through them of course and they were in love with the idea. They were like this would be such a good idea we think it'd be really good but here's the 100 questions we have for you and so they were asking questions like how do we plan on doing this in such a short amount of time and how do we plan on getting all the students together but including all of the clubs and activities and what are we going to do if students are in this club and this sport and you know 900 other things that were just we didn't clearly think about the first time. We sat and we talked through it with them and then we figured out an overall plan. We came up with a kind of an image of what we wanted this video to look like and we wanted to keep it the traditional style of a lip dub because a lot of our entertainment kids agreed that our all in this together video was not like constructed in a way of a lip dub essentially because when you type in lip dub on YouTube it's all done by a path and it's very one continuous video so you can see the whole student body in one big wave. We had about three weeks to actually plan where all the clubs were going to be, to finalize everything and to have our prep night and there were a lot of last minute changes that we discovered on the prep night and we ended up being here until about 9.30, some people even till 10. The design of this year's video was influenced by several other lip dubs that the production team took into consideration. We took inspiration from the 2011 lip dub and other lip dubs from other schools as well, and that's where a lot of our ideas came from, especially like the balloons. The finished product is now up on YouTube for everyone to see. For ONW Now, I'm Ben Whitney. Last weekend, ONW student Anna Sarol and the FISH organization held a talent show in hopes of raising money to buy Anna a modified vehicle. Roan Stanley and Sydney Weeks gives us all the details. Now in its third year, the Anna Sarol Benefit Talent Show helps raise money for Anna after she lost feeling in her legs during a gymnastics accident. My journey began um, August 20th, 2015, so about two years ago. and. Ever since then, I've been trying to give motivational speaks to a bunch of groups and a variety of communities to inspire them and to give them awareness that it's like life is hard, but you can get through anything. Her fundraising has come a long way since she started, increasing the number of performers every year in hopes of raising more money. Honestly, today our goal is to just raise, I'm not, asking for a specific amount, but just for everyone to just come together and just support and to see how much faces we can get and how much support we can bring. Given all that she's been through, Anna has good advice for anyone going through a tough time. I know it's hard, but life gets easier, life gets better. You just need to look at it in a different way. And I promise you that whatever you're going through um, and you need a listening ear, I got you. <laughs> for ONW Now, this has been Sydney Weeks and Rowan Stanley. With winter sports just around the corner, we'll take it to Game Day Northwest to take a look back at our successful fall season. Hey Ravens, welcome to Game Day Northwest. I'm Nick Lopez alongside Rosie Klausner. First up today we have football. Northwest had a tough season but battled it out, battled it out to the very end. Andy football Torres, went Captain Farewell, and season Nick with high season recap. Expectations. The boys got off to a rough start dropping their first three games but bounced back with, with big wins and their first playoff victory to I finish 4-6. I think the season six. went pretty well. The team did. All right, we had our first playoff win, so that's good. This season, we won the first playoff game in ONW history. We built friendships, we, and it was just really a season that I probably would not regret. Changes next year as seniors graduate and Coach Sherman will be retiring from coaching. It's sad. I wish he would have stayed, but we're going to move on and get better next year. Coach Sherman, he's taught me a lot more about 
life in football. He's, he's a really good guy. He did a lot for our program, and I just really thank him for what he did for o &W and for me. Cole Manning, as well as other juniors from this year's team, will play huge roles next year. We've got some juniors that got a lot of time this year. I feel like they, they're going to need to step up, but I feel like they've got the talent and the capability to do so, so I'm anxious to see what they're going to be able to do. Here for Game Day Northwest, this has been Nick Lopez. As fall sports wrapped up their seasons, we took a closer look at their top plays. Ryan Atchison put together the top five plays from our fall sports this year. Hey Ravens, with the fall sports coming to an end, let's recap the top five plays from this year's fall sports. Coming in at number five, we have the boys' soccer game against Shawnee Mission South as Chase Klusman gets the header and knocks down the equalizer. At number four, we have Sydney Weeks on the uneven bars as she sticks a perfect landing in the state gymnastics meet. At number three, we have the football playoff game against Shawnee Mission South as Trevor Adam destroys the running back and forces the fumble and is recovered by Northwest and the Ravens get their first playoff win in school history. At number two, we have the Northwest South football game on a punt return. Let's listen in. As the ball is caught on a low line drive for South. Oh, Joe Hatsfield. Send a message, young man. Before we review our number one top play, let's take a look at some honorable mentions of other amazing plays throughout the year. First, we have the football game against Lawrence Free State as Braden Cook tries to plug it up the middle, but does not go down as he fools everyone and sneaks into the end zone. Finally, we have the Volleyball State Championship game against Blue Valley West as Georgia Mullins delivers the final blow as the Ravens win back-to-back -back state champions. And the number one play is the playoff game against Shawnee Mission East as Weston Davis lights up the tailback with a huge hit. This has been your top five plays of this year's fall sports. That wraps it up for sports this week. Let's send it back to the desk. Now that we put a bow on our fall season, it's time to get hyped for winter sports. Many teachers find themselves dipping into their own money to purchase basic necessities for their classrooms throughout the year. During K-Citizenship Week, December 4th through the 8th, Raven Service Club is asking you to bring hand sanitizer, Kleenex boxes, and cleaning wipes for your first hour as a part of O&W's Drive Germs Away campaign. And the winning classes will receive breakfast, so get your class involved and give back to your teachers. Raven 50 is new for all of us. Jack Clayton explains the new changes for students. You may have seen the new Raven 50 posters around school. They look like this. They better explain the new process of Raven 50. You can sign up to go see teachers using the QR code in the bottom left or the tiny URL. You can also use the QR code on the stickers provided by your teachers. Scan the QR code or enter the tiny URL address to pull up the Google Form. The Google Form uses your student ID for identification. Make sure you select the teacher you wish to visit, what day and during what lunch you will be coming in, as well as whether or not you were directed by your teacher to get help. Raven 50 was a design to enhance student learning. You can use this time to visit teachers, do group projects, work on homework in the hallways, or find a quiet study space in the library. Make sure you stay respectful of our school during Power 50 and pick up your trash. Make sure you're filling out the Google form to keep Raven 50 an effective process within our school. Have a great rest of the year and good luck on finals, Ravens. That's all for this week. Don't forget to add us on Snapchat at ONW Now and on Twitter at ONW underscore Raven Daily. For Jacob Guernsey and the rest of the Convergence team, I'm Tessa Hunt. Have a great rest of the week, Ravens.